If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <sighs> Nature's hammer. Flick it, twist it, bop it. This is your Yeezy. This is your Nike Airs. We're having some problems. We've got a fault. I didn't buy these. Hello and welcome back to Artisan Electrics where we're out here in a very beautiful sunny Ipswich. I think it's Eps Essex I'll be honest, or Sussex, I, I don't know, I'm completely geographically ignorant. But we're here today working for a viewer, which as you know we always love. We're going to be fitting a hot tub, so that's going to be quite interesting. We're going to be looking into some of the regs around that. We've got a bit of a debate there whether or not to go TT or not to go TT. To TT or not to TT, that is the question. Got a board change we're going to be doing, that's going to be great. We're also going to be fitting a hypervolt, so man, trifecta of goodness that you can be getting. Oh, and we're also running a new garage supply, so there's lots of interesting bits around that. So. Get yourself prepared, get yourself a bag of popcorn because it's going to be a good one. All you've taught me is how to finish a Big Mac meal without blinking. <laughs> I've put on so much weight since being your friend. Here's the debate, okay? So the hot tub, do we put it on the PME system? So the earthing system, in fact, let's actually double check that the earthing system is PME. Yes, yeah, so it's definitely is PME. That means you've got the potential danger there of a pen fault failure or the loss of your protective earth neutral conductor. Although it's extremely unlikely that that situation would actually happen. Like, I don't know how many people have died in this country from loss of the pen conductor in the last few years. But I think what's made me wary of it is the EV industry at the minute. We're always talking about simultaneous contact, TT, pen fault. I think, well, if we're gonna apply that logic to a metallic structure where you could touch it and you're, you know, you're outside, you're on the ground, well, I think a hot tub, I can't guarantee that the hot tub they're getting is gonna be class two, double isolated. It might be class one. At the very best, you're gonna take panels off it. There might be class one components in there. And if you're kneeling on the ground and it's a damp day, you've then got a potential difference to earth. So I would like to put the hot tub on the TT rather than just on the RCD, but I'm still sort of debating it. The garage here is actually on TT anyway, and we're running it off of the garage supply, which we're gonna be upgrading. However, I would like to get the earth rod reading down below 20 ohms. So if I can get that off of that earth rod, then happy days, I'll use their TT system. If I can't get that, then what I'll probably do is maybe just put in another earth rod and sort of make my own PME in a way. I'm thinking out loud here. I'm probably all over the place with my science. And that's my thought process. Let me know what your thought process would be in the comments below or if you think I'm being over the top or if you think I'm even being a bit slapdash. Maybe there's other things I could have done. Maybe I could have fitted a pen fault protection device like a Matty device or something. So just let me know what you think. I've just had another thought, which is kind of throwing a spanner in my thought process. Will I achieve disconnection times? Even the RCDs are this side that, that that cable is not going to be RCD protected to so say a, someone puts a spade through it or a shovel through it or whatever one day digging up the drive I need to make sure that it will still disconnect basically because there's no RCD upstream of the armored cable you've only got that MCB I would be more comfortable if this was on like an S type RCBO or something upstream so that you've got something that's sensing imbalance if we're earthing it from this end and the protective device is that end it's, te it's technically separated, isn't it? The earthing systems. I'm gonna just run it in and have a think about it. Let's get this armored cable in. I'm gonna be completely real for a minute. Jeff Bezos has wasted his money going to space. He should have spent that on world hunger. Sorry, um, tangent. Um, that was it. This here, the storm glands, okay, they're cool, but why? Why do we have them? Plastic and metal is never going to bond together as well as metal on metal. Right, look, I'm able to pull that off. If I really tug it and tighten it, I'll just thread it because I'm screwing into plastic. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I don't think there's anything wrong with an SWA gland. And to be honest with you, thank you very much, Johnny son. I'm just gonna go back to using an SWA gland because I just don't think there's any need. I'm better than you. That's what this gland says. 
this gland is the, the guy at the nightclub with the um, Yeezys on, you know? It's like, the, the, this is your Yeezy, this is your Nike Airs. I'm gonna get you from A to B, it's gonna be comfy, it's gonna do the job, and they're actually quite practical as well, and they're gonna last a long time. This, it might look fancy, but it's not even that cool. This just screams, I've got money to waste, and I think I'm better than you. Storm glands, I'm sorry, if you were gonna like sponsor us next week or something, and I've just completely blown out the water, but give me a call, give me a call. <laughs> I didn't buy these, M Town, M Sport. All right, no, I need to tell you that. Someone has bought these for me. So I think a customer's put them in the van. Like, they're M Sports. So obviously, I've said about me having an M Sport BMW, but I have no, I would never, you know, I've never worn them. I have my, um, my Ray-Bans, I don't wear these. So what I've done is, I've scratched off just a little bit of paint around the gland, and I'm just gonna go old school. I'm feeling old school today. I was just moaning about all these new types of tools. Okay, actually the Piranha Nut, in all fairness, is the best of best of a bad bunch. Like the Piranha Nuts I can get on board with, they're pretty awesome. But I don't think there's really anything wrong with a good old fashioned banjo. I'm gonna try and fill some of these old gaps. I know it's not really our problem, but I just think it makes it look a little bit scruffy. Just overfill it a little bit, like that. I'll just sort of try and blend them into the texture of the bricks slightly. Yeah, there's a dustpan and brush in here. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of brick dust, sort of just chuck a bit on it. It's not gonna be a perfect fix, but it's just gonna be a bit better than ignoring it completely, do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna use a normal SWA gland, but I'm not going to connect the earth on because I want to separate the TT from the garage from the PME system in the house. <sighs> Nature's hammer. The cable entry for the board is about here somewhere. Consume unit's about there. So I think I'll mount the actual whisker box about here. Got a hole in the back. Yes, that is a whopping great big hole. Yes, we are going to putty and silicon it. But the reason why I've done that is we're gonna drill a hole across and through and I'm going to try and aim for where all the cables waterfall out and I'm going to bring a bit of 10 mil to twin and earth through the wall to that whisker box this whisker box and I'm going to connect it in there to twin and earth yeah I reckon exactly there just go really gentle yeah try that yeah perfect so that's come out right there that's exactly where we want it because we're going to lower the board ever so slightly so we can get a kitchen unit over it Does. When you want to mark idea, up holes, yeah. you just. It's a good idea. This is tool of the day, yeah, it's great. So, this is going to be our tool of the day, this Weha Electrician's Level. I'll be honest, I've never actually used it for this before, but I was just thinking, I forgot the template. I think the new ones, they come with like a template in the box, a bit like the Zappies, but these ones, they don't have the template, so you have to use like a metal manufactured template, which Jordan's got. Taking the opportunity to use this, and actually, it's really cool. So, you can just mark out exactly where you want the holes, and then got a level built in so you can just get it where you want it level it bomb bomb drill drill I guess measure the distance do the same again at the same distance anyway so we just measure the distance from there to there and you just measure straight down mark it drill it done flick it twist it bop it trademark it These cutters, it was, I can't remember. It was like a mule on a farm I was working at or something. It had it in his, oh no, sorry, it was John. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
They're very nice. People were messaging me saying, oh, they don't look very sharp. I don't know if you can tell that from a picture. This cable has been like superheated in the van. So it's really, it's like flexi cable all of a sudden because it's got so hot chickens laying scrambled eggs around the corner. A boiled egg probably be more accurate. Okay. Yeah, they're fine. <laughs> Cora's in there with the aircon. The real man's out here sunning it up as well as working. What's this? No, that's their boiler, so that's fine, that's on. Is the fridge on? The fridge is on, so that's good. At least they've got their kitchen ring. It's the rest of the house. That's live anyway, so. Definitely not that, that's making right, it cool. trip. Right, that's all I wanted, sir. Yeah, that's good, that's reassuring. We're having some problems. We've got a fault. There's gonna be quite a lot for us to sort tonight, but for now, we've got all the essentials on. We've got the, the house on, we've got downstairs, the kitchen area, it's just the upstairs room. We're just basically gonna leave them without power upstairs tonight, because there's only just like phone chargers up there that they really need. Um, so sockets upstairs will be off. And tomorrow we'll start fault finding. So we'll have to split the ring in half, split it in half again, and just basically work our way through it. So it's a faff. Okay, so we've finished all the messy stuff. We've got all the cables in and through, all clipped back. I need to do a little bit of silicon in. I need to second fix the CT clamps inside there, um, or the CT clamp. This is all done. That's all dead tested. We've got the cable through this trench just here. You can see a little bit of the warning tape there just on the top. That's the electrical warning tape. Just to give someone a heads up, that's gonna be concreted. Up here, I've filled a couple of the old holes in for them. I don't think you'll ever see where I was. I'm quite happy with that. They've dried really nicely. The old brick dust trick comes through again. That's all finished. So tomorrow really, it's just gonna be fault finding because we've got to find that fault. A bit of testing of the actual house and all the rest of the circuits and just finishing up snagging really. We've got to get that feed through for the hot tub but that's not gonna take more than 15 minutes really, is it? Just putting an isolator on, popping it through. But this looks great. I'm really happy with this. I was worried with how it was gonna look with all the cables coming through and a lot of crossing over. But actually, I think it's come off. It's come off okay because they kind of had to cross over at some point. Just needs a tiny bit of dusting, cleaning. Anyway, it's not been what we expected today, but that is just part of the job. Sometimes it's our own fault, really, because we should have done insulation resistance test before swapping the board. And if you watch the channel, you know 99.999% of the time we do that, but stupidly today, for whatever reason, we didn't. So that's my mistake. To be fair we still probably would have had to fix it anyway. We would have had to fix it and then change the board so it's sort of like six and two threes really. Either way we'd have to do it. It's just better to do it beforehand, but it is what it is. So we'll just get it fixed and sorted. I was very presumptuous. I saw a really nice, neat board. Every, all the electrics in the house look really neat. Um, the customer's got electrical background as well. So it's like, yeah, you know, it'll be fine. We'll just swap it over, but lesson learned the hard way so we'll have to find out in part two <laughs> what that fault is so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time